Well, hello there, this is Tamil. Today, I wanted to share tips and techniques to make your own personal profile picture, or it could be avatar, or it could be a logo. Basically, anything you will put on your art account which will make people remember you as you and nobody else. I finished a graphic design degree which I absolutely loved studying for. So I will also share general tips for a good logo because I actually know just a little bit about that as well. Let's get started. At first, think what makes you, you. And I'm not talking about your opinion on the pineapple pizza. I know that we all can agree on that topic. Uh, your, your your art could represent what type of avatar you will have. If you like drawing animals, for example, then maybe you can go for a cat or a dog drawing holding a paintbrush. Super cheesy example, but you get the thought process. If your art is close to dark fantasy, then maybe it could be a skull or a dragon head or a magic chest. For execution of the dark fantasy logo or avatar, uh, less colorful and have harsher lines inside. For example, you like making pixel art? Perfect timing to draw yourself using pixel art style. And I do have a tutorial on how to do that in CSP. This is totally not a shameless plug. In my experience, it doesn't always have to be the same as what you draw. Sometimes it can just be general. I never knew what type of art I wanted to do, so I just drew a pencil logo. It does not show any specific style or theme, but it is art related and it's easy to recognize. I made two logos before and um, we don't talk about those. I am glad I moved away from them and I created this one. Been using it for a couple of years and probably will have it on my tombstone at this point. If you don't know what to do at all, you're out of ideas completely and also think that bagels are overrated, I have just a solution for you. Not the bagel part, but everything else can be solved. A lot of artists just paint themselves, a self-portrait or their OC which is, stands for original character, in their own style. And honestly, a cheat code to grab attention to anything is eyes. We as humans are used to find and read eyes in our daily routine. A quick example that I really like is Loish and New Tripled. They have great sense of style and the most important part is the feeling of the logo or their profile is connecting to what type of art they're making. And that is exactly what you want to do. If you want to make something more professional, then maybe go for something professional. If you want to make something cute and nice, maybe try to do that with your profile picture. If you're looking for inspiration though, and you do not know how to paint cute portraits at all, a very cool trick is to look at the Twitch emotes. They're usually super small and have a clear read. There's a huge variety of styles and expressions in them. Plus, it gives me a chance to browse Pinterest and not do any work at all. On the other hand, some artists do not want to use their face as their profile picture, which is fine as well. Drawing a mascot is an alternative choice. For example, Kuya and Ahmed Eldori. Kuya represents themselves as Peach, so no matter what the style they will use, you will still know it is Kuya the artist because it's just a cartoony cute Peach. Using a separate character is always a great idea, because later you can actually reuse it for your promotional art or like a friend you never had or a YouTube banner if that does not feel like a good choice. If you don't want to make a character self-portrait or anything like that, then you can always rely on your name to make the logo. It might feel a little serious and more professional if that's what you're going for. Just pick a cool font that you like and write your first letters of your full name. I personally can't use it because mine spells TV. Tamil Volk, and why would anyone try to do commission art from a person who is a 
freaking TV. Just a weird association in general. There are plenty of cool free fonts on the web though. If you want to be super safe, you can always go to Google Fonts. They are free to use and have a cool style to them. Just play around with them and see what you can come up with. As a piece of advice, <laughs> I see a lot of artists use cursive fonts for their art, which honestly always ends up looking like a doctor's prescription from 15th century or something like that. It's harder to read and does not look great at a small scale. Which brings me to the more technical point. What is a good logo or a profile picture from a graphic design point of view? Well, first of all, make sure it looks good, big and small. Instagram profile picture is only 180 by 180 pixels big. DeviantArt is 100 by 100 pixels. If you write your name in cursive and size it down to a hundred pixels, will you be able to read it? Only if you sell your soul to the optometrist demon, which I have not seen them in a while, honestly, and that's not pun intended. That's why I like Twitch emotes again, because their size is only 112 pixels big. People get really creative when making them. A safe zone is probably one and a half, to a double size of whatever you need to use it for. I made my logo in vector, but exported it as 512 by 512 in a square. Another thing to check out are colors. It's a big topic to explore, but generally, keep in mind print and values. Does it look good in black and white? Is there enough contrast? If you turn my logo in black and white, it still looks pretty good. As for colors, I did not make a good choice. Yellow is very bright and nice color, I love it, but it is one of the hardest things to print in real life. When I made my first business card, it looked like a rotten potato. <laughs> if the yellow is becoming more faded, it turns into pretty pretty ugly green. Think about making a sticker out of your logo. Or will it make for a cool tiny keychain? What about a shirt? This kind of thinking helps me to create my logo and think about my branding. It's not something that we all have to face, but maybe in 10 years you're gonna be a super huge artist and you wanna make merch out of your logo or your profile picture or anything like that. I would say keeping your values at three black, gray, and white, is always a safe bet. You can always add more if you want to, but just be careful with it and always remember, less is more. If you're going to paint a portrait, make sure your lines are nice and thick. Look at emotes again. They use very big lines for their character because they will be very, very small when used. Easy way to check this is just to zoom out and if your lines are becoming too thin, then we've got a problem. Keep in mind that most social medias these days use a circle. Instagram and YouTube and TikTok, and uh, except DeviantArt, because DeviantArt is apparently a special art child <laughs> that we all just agreed to tolerate at this point. Always check if your profile picture will be cut off once it becomes a circle. How does it look? That's why I make my logo a circle from the very beginning, so I don't even have to worry about that at all. Some social medias have a dark theme, like DeviantArt, while other social medias are more on the white side. Your profile picture should look nice on black and white at the same time. That's why I put a ring around my own logo. So there's always black around, therefore it can look good against any color, honestly. And please, I beg you, keep it consistent across all your social media. I see a lot of artists use different pictures for their Discord versus Instagram versus whatever social media they use. It is artsy and creative, but think about what your audience feels like. For example, for me, I have probably over 900 people I follow on Instagram. So when I join their Discord and half of the servers have different profile pictures compared to what their Instagram is, 
honestly don't remember which artist is which and so I just have to investigate for like ages to figure out oh that's that one artist that I followed from that yeah basically it's cool that the name is the same but sometimes I just don't click the name like it's it's just different <laughs> so just keep the same image for all your social media another thing that I recommend is using a hard round brush if you're going to draw yourself no blending is a good idea to make a profile picture. A lot of pixels get smushed when compressed into small size, so less transitions in terms of color will make for a clear read. So using vector is honestly a great idea. If you do not know how to use Clip Studio Paint vector brushes, you can always just use zero anti-aliasing. That also works. As always, um, subscribe like this video, share with your other art friends that have terrible profile pictures but you don't really know how to tell them very, very nicely, ask any questions and I usually try my best to answer them. I hope you learned something and happy painting.